Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting Lesson. In this video, we will take the five adjusting entries we journalized back in step four, and we will be moving on to step five, which is posting these adjusting entries in a four column general ledger. So if we move over to our general ledger here, uh, let's start at the very top and work our way down. So the first one that we have to post is rent expense. This is on the last day of the month. And keep in mind, while in step two, we didn't put anything in the item column, now we will. I'm going to make a note that this is an adjusting entry. Now notice that this is on page three of the journal. So I'm going to make this J3. And these first two columns are going to mirror whatever I did in my entry. So in this first one, I have rent expense debit for 6,000, so it will go in the debit column. And then when it comes to the balance, I will simply be updating the balance just like what I did back in step two. So now I have a 6,000 debit balance. Once I'm done, I'm going to reference the general ledger account where it was posted, 52, and I'm done. Moving on to prepaid rent, let's move back up to the top. Prepaid rent, this was on the last day of the month. Again, we are going to put in a note here that this is an adjusting entry. Third page of the journal, and I'm simply going to replicate what I did in the journal entry in this first debit credit area, and here in this case I credited prepaid rent for 6,000. And now I have to update my balance. If you remember from step two, if it's a debit balance and we're debiting, we're going to add. If it's a debit balance and we're crediting, we are going to subtract. Um, kind of like the same kind of idea on the credit side. If it's a credit and a debit, we subtract. If it's a credit and a credit, we add. So if it's the same, we're adding. If it's the opposite, we subtract. So we are going from an 18,000 balance and we are offsetting it with a 6,000 credit balance, so we're taking away. So the new balance in prepaid rent is 12,000 debit. And that was account number 15 posted. Uh, let's move down to supplies expense. And remember, if you ever want to follow along with these accounting cycle videos, the full Excel sheet is available on our website, which will be linked in the description. Adjusting entry, that's again on J3. We debited supplies for a thousand. That leaves us with a 1,000 debit balance. Supplies, last day of the month. Adjusting entry, J3. Um, on this adjusting entry, we credited supplies for 1,000. So remember, now we have a 3,000 debit balance. We just credited it for 1,000, so that brought our balance down to 2,000. Now just uh, let me go ahead and deviate just a little so I can show you something. In step four, when we did our adjusting entries, Notice our second adjusting entry said, supplies on hand on July 31st are 2,000, 2,000. Now when we run over to our supplies ledger, it is showing that 2,000 balance because we decreased it by 1,000 in our journal entry. Just thought that was kind of important for us to see the full picture of what's going on there. Okay, moving on to our next one, January 31st, we have a debit to salary expense. All right, January 31st, this is an adjusting entry, third page of the journal. We debited salary expense by $500. All right, in this case, we have a 3,000 debit balance, and then notice we just debited it again. So that is going to increase the balance in the account. So now we have $3,500 that we have as salary expense for the whole month of January. Posted. Right, our next one is salaries payable because we owe our administrative assistant this money. Here it is. 
January 31st. Again, it's an adjusting entry. Third page of the journal, and in our entry, we credited salaries payable for 500, so it's a 500 credit balance. All right, moving on to January 31st. Depreciation expense. Another adjusting entry, third page of the journal. And in that journal, we debited depreciation expense for 700, which means that we have a 700 debit balance in this account. And that was account number 54. Remember, accumulated depreciation is a contra asset, so we'll be up with the assets. Uh, here it is, right with its parent account. I shouldn't call it a parent account with its little buddy account that it offsets. All right, January 31st, it's an adjusting entry. Third page of the journal, we credited accumulated depreciation by 700. So that account has a 700 credit balance. And now once we go to show this equipment on a balance sheet later on, when we get to financial statements in step seven, we will see that we have equipment listed at cost for the 54,000 and the 2,500 purchase. So we'll see 56,500 for the total cost of all the equipment we bought. And underneath it, we'll see less accumulated depreciation for this contra asset. This $700 will drag the book value down. So we can see that a little bit of it has appreciated. And that was 19. Okay, unearned revenue, that is a liability. Here it is. Again, it's an adjusting entry, third page of the journal. So in our entry, we debited unearned revenue by 10,000. And now we get to update this account. So notice we have a credit balance here. And then we debited it by 10,000. So this is the opposite of a credit. So this is going to drag down the balance by 10,000. If it was a debit balance, or sorry, if it was a credit uh, credit balance and a credit, then we would have added. Remember, a credit balance with a debit transaction is going to make it go down. Let's go ahead and enter. All right, and just so you can kind of see the same thing that we did with supplies, unearned revenue now has a balance of 40,000. If we go to our instructions, we see E told us that unearned fees on January 31st are $40,000. Twenty-three, posted. So now we can see we still owe forty thousand in work, but ten thousand of that was earned. And speaking of earned, let's go down to our revenue account. Here it is. All right. All right, so previously we had unearned revenue. We took a 10,000 off because this amount that we previously owed, we now provided the services. So now we are going to put that $10,000 in consulting revenue to show that we did earn that money. The balance previously was 112,000 and we are going to be adding on that credit of 10,000 to show that we now, during that month of January, have earned $122,000 in revenue. And last but not least, let's go back, 41, post it. Okay, up to this point, we have completed all of our adjusting entries. We have also posted all of those entries to our general ledger. Our next step is going to be moving on to do an adjusted trial balance. Keep in mind, an adjusted trial balance should be very similar to what we did for an unadjusted trial balance. So I highly recommend that you try doing this whole problem up to this point, then go ahead and pull up your ledger and your adjusted trial balance and see if you can put in all of those new balances and that they equal. And you'll also notice when you when you uh, kind of take a look at those balances and you compare your unadjusted to your adjusted, the only accounts that have changed were those that we debited and credited during the adjusting entry process. So other than that, no changes have ma been made to these balances. 
Okay, go ahead and stay tuned for step six to prepare an adjusted trial balance. And remember, if you do want to go ahead and print off uh, the blank version of this, that will be available in, on our website. It will be linked in the description below. Uh, and until our next video, happy studying.